Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay, guys, got a good one here for you. Got an article by uh, Aberdeen, specifically Duncan Moore, who's the senior investment manager at Aberdeen. Um, if you guys don't know, Aberdeen have been doing a lot of tokenization on Hedera. So they are a very big deal. And here they're just talking about how tokenization and blockchain is going to be changing money market funds. And I thought I'd do this article because I'm trying to make you guys aware how big of a deal tokenization is. Like tokenization in the future is going to be massive. I keep telling you guys, I do think it will be one of the driving factors in my opinion that will build up hbar's value i truly believe that in my personal opinion and so we've got here uh duncan just explaining tokenization and obviously money market funds a bit more in depth just so you can get a bit more of a better idea of this kind of thing and just understand again the power of tokenization so let's get into the article here so how tokenization and blockchain is changing money market funds Blockchain and airdropping, Duncan Moir, Senior Investment Manager at Aberdeen, explores potential of tokenization for money market funds. Blockchain technology is making the humble money market fund even better. And there's more to come. In the first of a short series of digital asset focused articles, Duncan Moir, Senior Investment Manager at Aberdeen, explores the transformative potential of tokenization for money market funds. What are money market funds? Money market funds don't typically make for good dinner party conversation, but after the rate hikes of the past two years, these humble instruments have been gaining in popularity. Money market funds, in brackets sometimes called liquidity funds, are low risk, cash like investment vehicles that mostly invest in government issued bonds. They offer investors a return that increases with interest rates. This is particularly attractive when banks pass on very limited interest in savers' regular current accounts, in brackets, and limit the size of savings accounts. It's also essential for companies managing their cash balances. Money market funds allow investors to redeem on a daily basis. But there's a tiny catch. If you elect to get money back the same day, in brackets, and let's face it, we're all used to instant cash, you'll have your return distributed as cash each day. This means to achieve the equivalent annual percentage return, you need to keep reinvesting that cash in the fund, an administrative burden for most investors. If you want to rid yourself of that burden, you'll need to wait an extra day to receive the cash. This may be okay for some, but most investors, whether an individual or an institution, want fast access to cash when it matters. Blockchain tokenization and airdropping. This is where blockchain tokenization comes in. With the fund ownership represented on a blockchain, investors benefit from same day payments and have any income automatically reinvested. In this case, the income is quote airdropped unquote to investor accounts as new tokens. We expect that access to cash will get even more frequent as providers develop liquidity facilities to create greater investor value. Money markets are just the beginning for fund tokenization. As asset managers ramp up their blockchain tokenization projects, we can expect to see more products coming from the market. And that's a quote from Duncan Moir. In early 2023, UK FCA regulated digital assets business Archax started to offer tokenized investments in Aberdeen's money market funds via their trading venue using the enterprise distributed ledger technology Hedera Hashgraph. Professional investors can connect directly to Archax's platform, while individuals can access suitable products via their brokers, who in turn connect to the platform. Interest has been substantial, far surpassing our initial expectations for a product that was pushing new boundaries in terms of technology use and market scope. Our view that digital asset businesses with large cash balances would be our day one target market was correct, but we underestimated the interest from traditional, albeit more technology-led corporates, such as payment companies. As we develop operational and technology improvements to offer even faster access, we expect this interest to grow. Tokenization and the future of money market funds 
money markets are just the beginning for fun tokenization. As asset managers ramp up their blockchain tokenization projects, we can expect to see more products coming to the market. For many, the goal is to use tokenization to bring private market investments to the masses. Some have made moves in this space already, although few, if any, have really tested the market demand, with limited use of public blockchain and connectivity to traditional distributed channels. Expect to see that change in 2024 as Aberdeen and others bring more tokenized products to market. With policymakers, regulators, and industry bodies putting greater emphasis on the need for innovation and investment in financial services, we can also expect more asset managers to move towards enterprise technology such as Hashgraph and onto regulated venues like Archax. With that, we'll see greater potential for adoption of tokenized funds and greater investor value. Okay, so guys, this is what I'm talking about. Tokenization, really big deal here, really big deal. And for some of you guys who may not understand all of this, because yeah, this is the kind of thing where it is big investors who are dealing with this kind of stuff, you know, in these kind of markets and things like that, generally speaking. But the thing that you've got to understand is, well, that's big money that's flowing through Hedera, right? Through HBAR. So that's still great either way, even if you don't necessarily understand it. But this is what the good thing is about tokenization. It's allowing people to get involved in these kind of markets because it's making it more accessible. So if you just think about the stock market and the crypto market, right? The crypto market is a much easier way to get into investing than the stock market. So people who are, you know, even like 16 can get involved in crypto. It's a lot easier to do than the stock market. And so this is the kind of thing that this is doing. It's just making things more accessible to the more everyday person. But you've got to understand the kind of money that's going to be flowing through HBAR, through this type of stuff, through tokenization. It's going to just be huge. It's going to be adding massive amounts of liquidity to HBAR. So this is really big, guys. This really is. And so this is just one aspect of tokenization, right? This isn't the whole thing. This isn't tokenization as a whole. This is just one aspect. We've already got the diamond standard who are also tokenizing diamonds on the ledger. Properties will be tokenized. Identity can probably be tokenized. You've got Twiddital that are doing an app where you can just tokenize things as well. You know, this is the kind of stuff that will happen in the long term. Many things will be tokenized. Many things of value will be tokenized. So this is what you're seeing. This is the beginning. And these kind of things here, are massive and Aberdeen are a big deal and they are developing on Hedera. They're doing all their tokenization on Hedera. So the future is looking very bright for HBAR, right? Very, very bright. So I just thought I'd show you this article here because again, it just shows you in regards to how it all works and just showing you how big of a deal this is, the kind of thing that it will be able to do. So I hope this has been something that you can take on board, something that's been helpful for you guys. Just understand this. We are literally seeing right now with this kind of stuff. We're watching the future being developed. You know, we're watching foundations being laid with HBAR with this kind of stuff. Like you're seeing these big companies working with Hedera, tokenizing. They're laying all the bricks and the foundation for HBAR's value long term. And it's going to be a big deal, in my opinion. It really is. But what do you guys think? Tokenization for money market funds. Do you like the sound of this? Is this something that you would potentially be interested in yourself? Do you think this would be good for HBAR's value overall? Or do you not agree with this? Is there anything in this article that you don't like the sound of? Or do you just not think this will be good for HBAR's value overall long term? Let me know your thoughts guys, I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.